So you're walking in the city and step out across the street. You did not check for traffic and... But then you're jerked awake. And you find yourself sworn by strangers, all laughing and having a good time. And in your confusion, you begin to remember. Millennia of memories start flooding back into your consciousness. You realize that the past few decades you lived on Earth were only seconds of deep dive simulation, a hyper-realistic game when you were from. Your life on that busy street was a fabricated simulation. You bet your friends you could live well into the 21st century. You lost. This is simulation theory, or at least one interpretation. People have been asking what reality is for a long while. Some ancient Greek philosophers theorized that reality is some kind of sleep state, or even madness. While Aztec wondered if reality is painted or written into existence by one of their metaphysical deities. Nowadays, most people think of the Matrix films and a 2003 paper written by Nick Bostrom titled, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation? In the paper, Nick argues one of three points must be true. We either go extinct, choose not to create, or are currently living in a simulation. Before we can discuss the how, why? Why would an advanced species even want to run a simulation? Well, I can think of a few reasons. Maybe you are a future anthropologist or historian interested in past civilizations, and simulations are a handy tool used in your line of work. Perhaps we have ascended to digital immortality, and creating an artificial world for us to live in is necessary so the mind doesn't go insane. The simulation could be a prison sentence or moral evaluation of an individual's character. And of course, maybe we're just a video game created as entertainment, or an inside the simulation, or maybe we're people uploaded directly from base reality itself. So how can we determine if we are in a simulation? Obviously, it's not exactly trivial science, but there are logical theories that seem to have promise. The idea is to observe cracks in reality, subtle variations that prove some computation is going on. One theory is to look out for glitches or resets of our simulated world. Like the black deja vu cat in the Matrix, there are moments that suggest something in the core program has just performed an adjustment. Mysteries like the Mandela effect, when people recalled Nelson Mandela dying in the 1980s, even though he wouldn't pass away until 2013. And the children's book series, Bernstein Bears, being remembered as Bernstein Bears, myself included. Mass psychosis events, or large collective memory failures, could be signs of converging alternate realities, or glitches in the simulation. Also, as the simulation runs, it probably accumulates errors over time. To account for these errors, it may adjust universal constants in nature. Large-scale mechanics like gravity or dark matter may not always agree with small-scale mechanics, such as on the quantum level. Physics is the fundamental test of our realness, and the contradictions we are finding could be all the evidence we need. But probably the most widely received theory is that of a statistical nature. We are either the very first base reality working towards the technology to host simulations, or we are one of infinite nested simulations. Put bluntly, if we are able to create simulations, then the probability of us being a simulation is infinitely probable. This is all speculation, of course, and there are other interesting concepts that could hold philosophical significance, like solipsism, or the idea that the self is all that can be known to exist, meaning everyone else could just be another program coded to act sentient and technology arguments such as raw computational power, since the computer required to simulate the universe would have to be the universe itself. But what do you think? Leave a comment with your take on simulation theory. Are we actually aliens living out a human existence? Are we artificial intelligences designed to work on some unknown experiment our creators have a use for? Is reality only a construct of memory and only exists as long as someone remembers? Guess we'll find out.